Hey you guys, the time has come. The Halflingers have been updated in Star Stable. The Generation 3 Halflingers are here. So here we are in Fort Pinta that we can see one of the horses. Look at how beautiful. So cute. They're so cute. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this beautiful horse is like. I like to click random a few times on here. Ooh, Apocalypse Land. All right, say hello to Apple Pie. Oh, look at how beautiful. Oh, she's so cute. Say hello to the new and improved Halflinger. So the Generation 3 is here. And wow, details, details, details. Look at her body. You can see the little tiny dapples there. I mean, the faces are just irresistible. Long, fluffy, fluffy mane. And just the cutest little expressions on their faces. And like, look at her walk. Let's have her pick it up to a trot. Maybe do a jump. She's just so sweet. I mean, doesn't she look like a little apple pie? Like it looks like she's toasted on the top and this would be kind of like the doughy part of an apple pie. You know, like maybe she's still crisping in the oven. I know that sounds so weird, but just think apple pie is just like the perfect name. Okay, I have lots of other sugary sweet names for the other horses. Now we're gonna ride off to the riding hall to check out even more of them. Oh no, the beauty does not stop there. So down at the riding hall, there are five more gorgeous half here. Why, hello. You guys just hanging out with the paint horses? <gasps> okay, so check out this row of them and then this one. Oh, so, so, so dreamy. So we've got this beautiful guy right here. Now, if they look a little similar, <laughs> if it's a little hard to tell them apart, easiest way to tell them apart, of course, is by their face marking. So when we pull back his mane, like make it super buzz like that, you can see his face marking versus apple pie, even though they look very similar. I mean, of course you can change the mane. Not as full, mohawk, braids, braided, and look at this, diamond braids. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna make this one a stallion and his name is going to be Cakey. Oh, he's super sweet too. Oh. oh, they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Is his belly kind of white? Looks like he kind of has a white belly. Just gorgeous natural markings, especially like that really like rich kind of Palomino color. Look at his really easy trot. But the thing I really love about these horses is check out the run. Look at that mane just flowing and going, doing its thing. The horses have really, really, really improved. Whoop, and then stop. I think the movements are very, very, very smooth. Oh, he's just so cute. Oh, he's in the bushes. Welcome, Cakey. Welcome, welcome. Now let's check out the lightest halflinger out of all of them that have been released. We've got this one right here, which I know the perfect name. The minute I saw her, I was like, oop, I absolutely have to name her that. So here she is. We want to see her with her different manes. So there's the straighter mane, diamond braids, mohawk, buzzed. Oh, I just, I love it that you can just easily see everything at a glance. So this one's gonna be a mare. So I already have an apple pie. Now her name is gonna be Sugar Pie because she looks like she's made out of sugar. Here she comes. Yeah, Sugar Pie, that's the perfect name for her. Sweet as sugar, maybe even sweeter. There she is. She's really cute because she's got that little tiny spot right on her muzzle. Very soft vanilla kind of coat color. I mean, it's going to be really difficult to just pick which color is your favorite because they're just, they're all so similar but different in their own beautiful way. I think they did a pretty good job making these horses stand out in their own way. So here she is, a cute little sugar pie. All right, let's see that mane go because it's just so beautiful. Why not? There we go. All right, thank you, Sugar Pie. Next, we're gonna check out this color one right here. A lot more of like that lighter coat pattern. All right, let's change the mane, get a better look at that marking. So there's not as full. Diamond braids, braided, braided, buzzed. Let's see. So white marking and then a teeny, tiny, itty bitty little marking right there on the muzzle. So the name that I'm going with this guy, let's just press it random a few times. I'm gonna go with Cake Drop because it kind of looks like if he was in the kitchen, mixing up all the ingredients to bake a cake and then all of a sudden, whoop, he dropped the cake. So he's Cake Drop. <laughs> I think that's a sweet enough name for him. And this one, I am gonna make a youngster. Here we go, here he comes. Oh, he's got like little spots actually on his muzzle. Oh, I didn't even notice that until he like got like up, up close. Here he is just being cute, just being sweet. Look at that little happy prance too. They have a very happy trot. Oh, does he want some hay? Does he want hay? No, he's licking his lips. No, he doesn't want the hay. 
Oh, he wants to jump over onto the hay and get probably like a crunchy sweet carrot or an apple or a banana. He probably wants a banana from the cart here. All right, cake drop. I'll give you something sweet once you go back to the barn. Now we're gonna check out the darkest color halflinger. That's this one right here. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for the name? Here's the horse, right? That beautiful, dark, 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 rich, rich, rich. Is this like a chocolate palomino maybe? Well, the color looks really chocolatey to me. Okay, they have a little star right underneath all that hair. You can see right there on their forehead. Okay, as adorable as he is with all of these different mane styles, I'm gonna absolutely have to pick out these diamond braids to go with him. And his name, it's gonna be Gingerbread because he looks like a decorated gingerbread house. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but he looks so adorable. That coloring is so gingerbread to me. Plus the mane style looks like frosting. It looks like a decorated roof. Here he comes. Oh, he loved that scratch on his face. Hi, gingerbread. Oh, I love that mane style. So beautiful. Oh, is he going to go sniff the flowers or play on the laptop? What's he doing? Oh yeah, he's sniffing the flowers. Cute. Oh, he got a big sniff in. There he is trotting. Oh, look at that trot. Cannot get enough of that. Oh, look at this is perfect for him. So he's probably going to have a little sip of cocoa and the plant. He's going to smell the plant. Oh, have an itch. I don't know, but he needs to make that mane blow in the wind. There we go. I think he's searching for food. All these horses are very, very hungry. <laughs> I think he found what he was looking for. Some carrots. Oh, you guys, he's just so sweet. He looks really sleepy with his really long eyelashes. All right, we'll just let him be. Now there's one more to check out in Star Stable. That's this girl right here. She's not as dark as Gingerbread way over there, but you can see her coloring a little bit lighter, but still nice and chocolatey and beautiful. So here she is with her beautiful full mane. You want it to be a little thinner. Here we go with that beautifully decorated diamond braid. Does she have any markings on her? Nope. Here she is with some braids. And the name I picked out for this girl, we're just going with Cookie, because she looks like she's the color of a cookie. Aww. I can't get enough of these horses. All right, here she is. Here comes Cookie. She's running in and sliding. Stop. Is she going to go get a cool sip of water? She's trotting on over. Oh, I think she is. Oh, no, no, now she's just going into the water. Okay, I really wish Star Stable would let us swim with our horses. I mean, there's nothing else to say besides these horses are really, really dreamy. Her coat coloring too is just so sweet. Oh, when I saw this one, I was like, yep, absolutely, Cookie, she's coming home. She's gonna be living at my stable. I'm gonna be brushing that long, beautiful mane. Very, very sweet. Here we are in my barn with all of the horses that are released right now in Star Stable. Of course, there's probably gonna be one that's gonna be released in the app as well. So hopefully I can get this video up before the app comes out and then we can check out the app horse when he's released. But here they are. You can see the difference between the color. These three beauties right here, Cake Drop, Apple Pie, Cakey, they look very, very, very similar. Oh, look, they're synced. Oh, they were almost moving the same. Pretty much you can tell them apart by just their face markings on these ones. And then I have the lightest one, Sugar Pie, next to the two darker colored one, that beautiful chocolatey rich color, Gingerbread and Cookie. So you can see the difference between them. These are pretty nice horses. I think they did a really nice job with them. I would say pick your favorite color if you want to experience the halflingers because these are, they're really, really beautiful and especially their manes. To me, their manes look really similar to the Jorvik wild horses. You can see that, but maybe layered a little bit more here and kind of tapered down, but they look pretty similar to me. But of course the Jorvik wild has their really full fluffy mane on both sides of their body, but I'd still say they're pretty similar. And if you have the Gotland pony, they also look look really similar to the Gotland Pony. Kind of squeeze this one in right there. Okay, come on, Trail Flower. There you go, girl. She is still smaller in that pony size compared to the Halflingers, but still really similar, right? The coat markings are definitely really similar. So here they are. They're finally here looking beautiful. I'm happy you can join me. I know you're just as crazy about horses as I am. Subscribe right along with me for all Star Stable adventures. Here's some love. Here's some heart. Here's some hugs and well, horses because we all love horses on this channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. Come on, Cookie. Let's go for a ride. All right. Bye, you guys.